Schwartz here from the Everything Saxophone Podcast. We're at the NAMM Show 2023, day three. I'm at the Eastman booth, and I'm with Ryan Richmond, who was a previous guest on the podcast, but also there's some awesome things we got to show first. Aside from that cool-looking horn, that's the 52nd Street Model 852. We've got some things here that he's going to talk about. Yeah, Donna, we were really happy and surprised to uh, be honored at the NAMU Best in Show Awards this morning. We won Company to Watch. Awesome. And then we won the Best in Show for the 852 tenor. That's congratulations. That's that's so well deserved. I remember when we were speaking on the podcast, how you know how long it took to come up with this idea and work with Bob Mincer and, and all that kind of stuff. And I played this yesterday. Um, the key work, I'm going to move this aside if you don't mind, just for a second. I'm going to bring this up a little closer. So you can see a little bit of this, and we'll talk more about it, but it really has a, such a natural feel to it. The ergonomics are really great, and the sound, you know, ergonomics are, are so important, but the sound is the most important aspect of it, and it sounds really good. Thank you so much. Uh, it's, a, it's a long journey, but it was worth every every minute. Um, we're very happy with the saxophone. Bob is very happy with the saxophone. And uh, and we've gotten a lot of positive feedback here at the show on how great it plays and how great it feels. So we're just, we're very, we're very honored and, and pleased that everyone likes it so much. And, and well deserved, like I said. I mean, I think, wow, I just really enjoyed playing this. I, j I can't even tell you how much I enjoy playing this. I have small hands. So for me, this was a lot of things were just really great, like the left pinky, the G sharp key, you know, it's not recessed, you know, I could feel it. Um, the bis key, the placement, everything was just really great. The, um, the octave key in the back, you know what, I'm going to hold this. Yeah, let's, let's talk about this for a second. So let's talk about the octave key first. Sure. So the octave key is a little different design, but uh, David, when he was designing it, he said he put his thumb in a, in a block of clay to just feel what that shape would be. And uh, and it's very comfortable. A lot of people don't even notice that it's different from a traditional octave key. Wow, okay, well I, I definitely did. I definitely did, and it's great placement for that too. And while we're on the back side of the horn, anything else here? Let's see. Let's go to, let's go to the, oh yeah, let's talk about the, the braid. Oh, the braid, yeah, the braid is, uh, uh, David is a jeweler. And so when he was creating the body to bell brace, we knew he wanted a two-point brace. And, uh, and when he was doing it, he, he used a twisted um, round stock, uh, and it just turned out to be so beautiful. So we, we really, uh, it's just a piece of jewelry. It's a piece of jewelry. It looks really cool yeah. for a jewelry on your saxophone. That's right. awesome. Right. That's really good. And actually, I'm just looking to here at the, the guard over there. Oh, sure. It. Yeah, he handmade all the guards. Yeah, so all of the key guards are his own designs, um, and they're beautiful. We even have one in front. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's really good. On the C sharp. Yes. So, yeah. And we've got the artwork on there too, the engraving on the bell as well. Oh yeah, I just noticed, this is, I don't know if I can, can you put that closer to, sure. there's a car. <laughs> there's a, I don't know if you can see that. It's it's hard. There's a car there. <laughs> Looks like it's going to the post office. <laughs> it's a jazz club on 52nd Street. Is it really? I can't even see. Oh yeah, there we go. I see the 50, the 52. A car going to 52nd Street yeah. Jazz Club. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> My eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we have a street scene on the engraving. That's cool. Uh, with a with an awesome car parked out in front of a club. Uh, <laughs> and if you look really close you'll see the Eastman logo in, in the awning of the jazz club. So that's, that's what that neat. is. Got it, yeah. Yeah, really cool. My glasses. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's talk about the key work. Sure, so a lot of the shapes are, are a little different, but they're super comfortable. So everything's been rounded off. Everyone, everything feels great under the hands. Uh, some sculpting on your pinky tables, both left hand and right hand. The palm keys are beautiful and shaped so they fit under your hand uh, very nicely. The touches are, are a sterling silver, so they feel, they've got a little bit of grip to them, so you don't slip around if, if you sweat or anything like that as you're playing. 
So yeah, we, we love the feel of that. Plus, as a jeweler and a flute maker, we thought it was appropriate to do that as well. Um, and then the, the real thing on this mechanism is the back feet on, on the upper and lower stack. These, this is the part that we hold a patent on. Um, and this is a, a David's design. It provides an incredibly stable and long-lasting regulation. Uh, it feels great under the fingers, feels very even under the fingers. Um, so that's, that's really what's patented on this. Everything else is just beautiful sculpture and, and jewelry, but this is the part that mechanically is different from other saxophones. I, you know, I felt that when I, was, when I was, you know, running up and down some scales and all that kind of thing. It just, it felt very natural to me. It just felt really natural. I felt smooth, and like I said, the sound was just even throughout. Awesome. That's so cool. And just uh, give a little quick closer look also, just check this out. Great. You could see the sculpting on the pinky table. You could see in the back over there as well. Awesome. Congratulations on this. Thank you so much. Cool. I'm so glad to have caught up with you here at NAMM. I yeah. know you were, you were busy, so this morning they were getting their awards. <laughs> yep, yep. It's been a very busy show for us, but we're so happy to be here. Cool. Well, thanks again, Ryan, so much. Thank you, Donna.